Executive Secretary Tatiana Molsean, Secretary General Doreen Bogdan Martin, Friends of Road Safety. I'm honored to address this symposium on the future network car once again. Those of you gathered here today represent a vast spectrum of expertise in areas from driverless cars and environmental sustainability to advanced emergency braking systems, legislative policy, telecommunications, and more. We need every one of you and all your knowledge for the challenge we face in road safety in the future network car. The recent results of the WHO Global Status Report on road safety are a warning. Over the last decade, 10 countries have achieved the SDG 3.6 target to halve road deaths by 2030. Additionally, 87 countries have reported a reduction in fatalities ranging from 10 to 49%. If we have reduced the annual global toll of road crash deaths from 1.35 million to 1.19 million, it also shows the extent of the crisis we face to achieve our goal to halve the number of victims on the road by 2030. In short, we need to do 10 times better. While there are many different approaches towards our goal, one of the clearest, simplest, and most effective will come from the development of new technologies for the car of the future. Yes, reflecting now on the efforts of Mrs. Bogdan Martin in her commitment to digital transformation, economic prosperity, and social inclusion, we find ourselves at a stage where the convergence of technology and road safety can yield profound impacts. Furthermore, we must combine road safety with the need of digital advancement and sustainable development. Building on the momentum of last year's discussion and the recent ITC session, it cannot be repeated enough that we must also remain vigilant against new traps. I'm referring to the reliability of AI algorithm or safeguarding our transport system from cyber threats. The efforts of the working party on automated, autonomous and connected vehicles are supporting progress in that field. The regulation on cyber security and cyber security management system are being implemented successfully by the automotive sector. The guidelines related to artificial intelligence in the context of vehicle regulation are being developed. The launch of activities to develop until 2026, the global regulation on automated driving system were approved last week under the input of Canada, China, EU, UK, Japan, and the United States. The recent news from ITC's adoption of a landmark strategy on reducing greenhouse gas emission from inland transport highlights the urgent need for decisive action in lowering the carbon footprint of transportation. And especially as it relates to road safety and the future of automobile. Our efforts toward carbon neutrality by 2050 must be relentless and all-embracing. They must include how we develop and improve new car technology and how safe these cars are. We need to focus at once on protecting the environment, making our roads safer, and creating a fairer society. To sum it up, the collective expertise present here today has the power to build a future where network cars not only navigate roads with unprecedented efficiency, but also serve for safety, sustainability, and societal progress. Thank you.